People don't know what MMIW means. They know what, you know, a TikTok is, but they don't know what hashtag MMIW is. That's that's a problem. There's so many cold case files. It gets to the point where families are so afraid to report their missed one, missing loved one as native for a fear of getting them not looked for. Maybe if I report them as white, they'll get looked for. Maybe if I report them as Hispanic, they'll get looked for. But if I say native, they're going to put it in a box and it's not going to get worried about. Paula Castro Stops just found the exact spot where her daughter's body was discovered. You have these camps of workers there for years and they're just there by themselves. They're in a different area, they're not home, but they know there's some exotic indigenous women here. There's a market for that. The sex market is ridiculous. Whatever sells, they're gonna, they're gonna harvest, whether it's drugs or women. And when you're in a certain area and they know there's a huge reservation full of native girls that these other guys have never seen, they're going to get targeted. And if they know that nobody's looking for these girls, and it's really easy to get them. They're going to get them. It's when people don't make it a big deal that these people, these predators are going to keep on doing it. Since colonization, indigenous and native American women have been targeted and just have been looked at as weak. They've been taking our women since they came here taken our people since they came here, since anybody has colonized any land. I have younger cousins that um have gotten trafficked. We had, she's not a relative of mine per se, but she's of the Wampanoag Nation. Janasia, um, she was 18 years old. She got in a car with somebody she thought she knew and she got taken away. Today, police in Felsmere, Florida found a body in a field. They say it appears to be Finkley's body and that this appears to be a murder. That was something that hit really close to home. I, I mean, I've heard so many different stories. A Native woman goes missing, her tribal government cannot exercise any kind of police jurisdiction over that crime unless the government knows that the perpetrator was Native. I just want to use my platform that I build with boxing. I have a voice for the voiceless, you know? These, these sisters, these people that are missing, they're gone. They don't have voices. So I have a voice, so I want to use it to bring awareness to problems that we have in our community. I mean, this film is in no way, shape, or form an answer. It's just an artistic interpretation to get eyes on something. You want to grasp, grasp eyes and get attention, okay? Here's a thriller, here's drama. It's a heavy role, it's a heavy context uh, of a film or even a context of a conversation, but, I was honored to be able to tell the story. You know, I have a purpose and just like what I do with boxing, if I had to, you know, film in the middle of November, December in the coldest place on earth in Buffalo, New York, I'm going to do that. You know what I mean? If that's what I have to do, it was, um, it was, is a story need to be told. I, I, by any means necessary, I was going to do it.